Okay, so on, on this end of the video, we're working on a um, GMC uh, Sierra 99, and um, I fabricated a um, a frame for a winch system here. And what I did was I bought this this square stock here. Can you see it? Okay. So it's square stock, and then it, just a flat plate. That I had bought offline. Uh, I'm obviously not showing the fabrications because it's done. So I, I cut the the um, the, the um, rectangular tubing out and um, welded it together. Uh, and I um, I welded all the bolts in to make this. The, the idea on this frame system was to get it on and off the truck in a, in like five ten minutes, and that was my goal. So, and also make it strong so that it wasn't pulling on anything and at the same time uh, I wouldn't have to, um, to attach it to the bottom. So, what happens here basically is these are marked obviously one and two and you'll also notice that there's a cutout on the back. <laughs> That's the only way I can figure out how to weld it in there. Um, so, they... They basically, I know this video is not going to look too good, but that, you know, shit happens. So, they basically go in here. They slide in. Um, so. Slide in like that. And what this basically does is distribute the weight evenly on the bed this this is a concept that a lot of guys use to to kind of use the entire bed um, as the pressure point so you're building a whole frame now all, all I have here is these two side pieces one goes on each side and then the front piece that lays across so it's, a, it's very simple so I'm gonna cut now and try because I can't hold the camera by myself. Okay, I'll try to show you a little bit about this fabrication. This is a angle iron. I think it's like an inch and a half by an inch and a half. And then there's a small inch or three quarter angle iron, whatever it is. Weld it. Weld it together. Okay. And mostly held. I don't know if you can see this in the back. Okay, so, so that's holding this pretty steady. And then... I bought this winch and it had some holes in it and I might have had to make extra ones, I don't know, but so it's laying flat on the plate, trying to get it in the best position possible towards the front of the truck so you have the most amount of room. Um, there's two holes in each section here. I think one of them actually won't work. I'm not sure I have to get it all together. But basically, this just takes a couple minutes to take apart and put together. So let's cut away and get this winch here. Um, there's holes on the side here for the electric mount, which is basically encased in this box. Everything's self-contained, and it screws on with wing nuts. Again, everything for speed so that this goes fast. I'm trying to get this freaking camera to work. So there's basically two nuts welded on the each side. So you got eight of them. And um, that basically holds it together. And you have your wire set across. Now I'm going to cut in and I'll show you uh, just a simple amount of the uh, uh, electronics for it. Okay, so the other thing is, is that the... Um, the mounts here that are going into the uh, bed um, they're of course as I pointed out before welded on so you you just kind of screw your thing in you don't have to hold anything it's all welded up and uh, you got plenty of uh, hooks for your uh, straps for what you're gonna strap in well, I don't know if I can get this but so this is the box 
and I don't know if that's you can see it or not, but it just kind of goes right in there. Probably not enough light, but anyway, you see from here it just drops in, and then you get your two wing nuts underneath. So I'm trying to get some light under there so you can see. But basically, the box is under here and it just slips right in with the two wing nuts. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a pretty simple concept. And then you got your connector, which you just connect one, two, three. Try to get it on a full shot. Um, there's the whole unit, the quick connect, and then in your box, which is mounted there. You got all your electric. You can just connect it to a um, a uh, hot shop box if you want. Two connections. Everything else is all in there, wired already. You got your remote control switch uh, in there, and you have your uh, regular wired switch. So it's ready to roll. I mean, you put a box on it, and you're ready to winch. Um, so basically, that was my solution of making a quick frame. I think I timed it one time then it was like about five or seven minutes or whatever um, with the eye hooks and everything and the only thing you would probably need is one wrench or whatever for the bolts uh, if you want to put bolts I mean you kind of have to I guess but it's basically a nice setup and um, it's kind of out of the way but what I, I didn't want to have it on the truck permanently so I wanted to set up that I could take off real fast and uh, I'm going to go pick up my ATV tomorrow so uh, it should work out I hope pretty good I got a couple ramps and uh, and that's it so I hope it give you some ideas about how you can put a frame on a truck pretty pretty strong frame system the only thing you could do if you want it to be even stronger is instead of the angle iron here you could use like some kind of square pipe or weld a couple pieces together uh, I think the squares or the rec rectangle or maybe something welded together is even stronger than the um, uh, <clears throat> the angle arm but but the kind of weight you're picking up I mean I think that's a 3,000 pound winch but my ATV weighs about 700 pounds and it's rolling I mean even up the hill I don't think there's going to be a, a lot of pressure there but um it, it the whole bed it's it, the structure is uh is strong because it's whole and uh ain't going anywhere be no problem there easy to put on doesn't affect the truck at all i got these um these spacers that i made here um kind of like a to to give it even more support uh, everything that you're pushing against that's a bigger um a bigger piece of metal, form piece of metal is going to give you a lot of strength and rigidity. So it's the whole process and these are really beefed up. I mean they're heavy. They're not going anywhere. So uh, that's it. Uh, maybe I'll show you it in motion. Uh, make another video. Thanks for watching. <sighs> One last thing I wanted to say about this, uh, this, this frame system for the winch. Uh, I think the total amount it cost me was somewhere between two and three hundred dollars. I wasn't paying much attention. I did get a pretty good deal on this this um, winch. It's a thirty five hundred pound winch. There, I, I wasn't even paying attention. I mean, I had done a lot of research and I only paid ninety dollars for it. Um, it. Normally went for more, so I was a little leery about the whole situation, but. That's it worked. I tested it. Works pretty good. Uh, these units tend to make a lot of noise. I think it's because metal gearing. I don't really know, but um, but that's basically it. So um, I hope this helps somebody out if they want a frame system for holding things or whatever. Um, it's a nice way to go. Uh, you're not really touching anything on the truck. You're not damaging anything on the truck, and um, gives you a pretty good amount of uh, rigidity and um, and it's versatile uh, and you don't have to leave it on there so it won't get messed up so uh, hope this uh, helps somebody out thanks so 
there's no way I'm gonna be able to hold this camera and do this operation to get this um, ATV off the bed you just have to imagine it simply comes down and hopefully goes on without any issues looks like everything's set up right okay that's pretty much it so yeah to be honest with you this is kind of a real pain in the ass because my ramps are pretty narrow and obviously I'm going to change that situation I didn't pay much for those ramps but the cable system works out pretty good um, that's pretty much it uh, good for now alright so this is my solution to the cable touching the bed I kinda wedged this board here so it wouldn't move hopefully it won't this is really a kind of a makeshift situation here but I don't really want the, the uh, cable to touch the bed if I could help it so I use wood wrapped with tape hopefully it works and uh, we're almost off not gonna lie not particularly a fan of anything red almost looks kind of orangey in the light but it'll work some nice engineering here gotta get rolling 